Well, all right. It's real good to see you. Welcome to this episode of Barlow Barbecue. And I tell you what, I'm pretty excited about this video because it's going back to what started my backyard barbecue journey, and that is pulled pork. Now, when I started barbecuing back in, I think, 2006, there was no YouTube. The only thing that I had at my disposal was a couple of cookbooks and a lot of trial and error. But you are already ahead of the curve because this video right here, I'm gonna show you the whole process, the techniques that I use to get a perfectly tender pork butt every single time. And I'll tell you what, it really isn't that hard after a little bit of practice. Now, I'm assuming that you're just starting out, maybe you just grabbed your first Weber kettle, or maybe it's another brand of charcoal grill. It's all good. You can still apply the process and the techniques to any grill that you're using. Now, aside from your charcoal and your meat, there are just a couple things that you will need. You're gonna need a little bit of tin foil, and I would recommend like a toothpick, or maybe if you've got one of those probe thermometers, something like that, and I'll explain that to you later on in the video. Speaking of which, if you stick around to the end of the video, you're gonna see my special trick to get perfectly tender pulled pork every single time. So listen, I'm gonna shut up now. I know that you're excited to get into this video, so let's get started right now. All right, so this is how my setup works. The tin foil here, I've got that on the bottom grate, and that's gonna go underneath our pork butt. And this really just helps with catching the drippings that are gonna drip down from that pork butt as it cooks. Now on the side opposite of the foil back here, that's where I'm gonna be putting my charcoal, okay? So we're gonna be cooking this pork butt indirect today, all right? So that means you've got a fire on one side and you've got your meat on the other side. So that is pretty much it as far as the setup goes. Really easy stuff. So let's go over now and take a look at the pork butt. We'll get that rubbed up and ready for the grill. All right, we just took a quick look at the grill setup. Now let's take a look at my butt. I mean, my pork butt, that is. So this is what I'm using today. This is a little over eight pounds, all right? And I, I picked that up because I figure that's the average. You know, I recommend anything from six to eight pounds. Really just depends on how many people you plan on feeding. All right, but six to eight pounds is kind of your average pork butt size. Now this is a Boston butt. It's got the bone in on the side. And let's flip over on the other side. You notice it does have a little fat cap right there. Now I'm not gonna trim that off. I'm gonna leave that as is, all right? So let's flip this back over. This side is gonna go up on the grill. The fat side is gonna go down. All right, so let me go ahead and get some rub on this. I'll show you a little bit and how to do that, we'll get that started and then uh, we'll come back when this is all ready to go. Now normally I like to make my own homemade rub when I barbecue, but I'm feeling a little bit lazy today. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this bottle of Everglades Heat. It's made right here in Florida, y'all. It's good stuff. Now there's no right or wrong when it comes to using a rub. You use whatever your favorite rub or seasoning is. All right, so let's go ahead and hit this pork butt with some Everglades Heat. And you want to use a nice amount of rub and make sure you get all sides coated. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I'm going to get the underside with the fat. I'm going to get the sides here. And then I'll bring you back and show you the finished product. All right, we got this pork butt all rubbed up. It's looking real good. We got a nice amount of rub on all sides. So after you get your pork butt rubbed and seasoned, what you wanna do is take it inside and put it in your fridge until it's time to cook. And speaking of which, let's go ahead and get that grill fired up. So our pork butt weighs a little over eight pounds. Now there isn't a specific formula that I can give you that will give you an exact time frame every time. But here's the kicker, it really just depends on your grill temp. So if you're cooking a little bit lower between 225 and 250, it's gonna take more time for your pork butt to cook. But if you're smoking that pork butt at higher temps, say between 275, 300, maybe a little, little above 300, it's not gonna take near as long. So the range I'm gonna be looking at today on my grill is between 250 to 300 degrees. Now one gadget I failed to mention at the beginning of the video, 
is a charcoal chimney. I highly, highly recommend that you pick up one of these if you do not have one already. It really is gonna make your life a lot easier when it comes to getting some charcoal lit. So I'm gonna get some charcoal going in this. So let's jump over to the QView camera and get this grill started. Now I really don't have a lot of charcoal in here. You don't need to start by lighting a lot of charcoal because otherwise your grill temps are gonna get out of control. So it's best to start with maybe, you know, 10 to 15 briquettes, 20, but no more than 20, all right? Now underneath here, another important thing you're gonna need is this right here. This is just a little charcoal a starter. Get my lighter. There we go. She's lit. Get our charcoal chimney on top of here. All right, that's looking good. I'm thinking this will be ready in about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll see you then. All right, it's been about 15 minutes and this charcoal is looking perfect. So let's go ahead and dump it in there. Step over on this side, there we go. All right, now I need to do a little organization real quick with this charcoal. Get this charcoal off this foil here. And what I wanna do is pile this charcoal, this lit charcoal kinda up in one corner here. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now, I've got my uh, bag of charcoal right here. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna fill this side up over here with some unlit charcoal. Fill that all up. Because we're gonna be running for uh, quite a few hours today, I imagine. So what's gonna happen is, this lit charcoal over here is going to slowly ignite this charcoal here, you know, over the course of our cook. So, you know, this should last us at least a good four to five hours here. And we're saving this side. Again, this is going to be where our pork butt's going to be over this foil. Okay. Now we just need one more thing and our grill is ready to roll. Got to have your wood chunks. And I say chunks, not chips. You don't want to use any wood chips if you're doing a pork butt like this, all right? And if you're using wood chunks, there is no need at all to soak these in water, okay? That's just an old wives' tale. Don't pay any attention to what you hear about soaking your wood chunks. So let's go ahead and just toss those right on there. We'll toss on that piece there, and we'll toss that piece on there to get lit later on. So let me go ahead and get the grill grate on top here. Okay, just like that. Get the lid on. So you got your thermometer on one side. You got the vent here on the other side. That's all fine and dandy, but if you're trying to do indirect cooking, it's kind of a problem because you want to have your vent over the side that your meat's on. That's gonna put this thermometer right over the fire. So this side over here is gonna be a lot cooler. It's not gonna be as hot as the fire is over here, okay? In the past, when I've done this setup before, I found that the reading that's directly over the fire was, you know, 50 to 100 degrees hotter than this side over here. So when I see this thermometer get to about 350, 350 looks would be pretty good right there. Cause then I know that the other side that I'm gonna put the pork butt on should be between 250, 300 degrees, which again is right in that window that I wanna cook at today. Now, another real quick thing, you wanna give this time to come up to temp, but you also wanna give that smoke, you see that smoke coming out of the top vent there? You wanna give time for that smoke to clear up. Contrary to what you may believe, you don't wanna see thick white smoke. You wanna wait until that smoke clears up a lot, until you get a really uh, transparent, wispy, it's almost a blue smoke, it has a blue tinge to it. That's what you're waiting for. So we gotta give a little bit of time. It'll probably take about 15 to 20 minutes for this kettle to warm up, for the smoke to clear out of here. And then folks, we're gonna be good to go. We're gonna be able to get this pork butt on. So stick with me and I'll see you in just a little bit. 
All right, y'all, I believe it is time to start smoking. We got a grill temp right now of about 350. And again, that's on the back side, the side with the fire. Okay, so that tells me that the side we're gonna put the pork butt on should be around 250 to 300 degrees, which is perfect, all right? So check out this pork butt. It looks great. It's been sitting in the fridge for the last hour. Boom, doesn't this look beautiful? I love that red color that that Everglades heat added to the pork. That's gonna look real nice. It's gonna make a real nice bark. All right, so let me go ahead, get some gloves on, and we'll get this pork butt on the grill. Gloved up. All right, here's our beautiful pork butt. Let's get that on. We're just gonna place it right here. On the side opposite of the fire. All right, we are smoking. Now, tradition here at Barlow Barbecue is to uh, crack open a beer once the meat goes on. Not a moment sooner, all right? Cheers, y'all. We're gonna let this butt smoke for a good three to four hours. What I'm looking for is an internal temp of that pork butt to be around 150 to 160. And that is typically where the stall happens. When the butt hits the stall, that's when I wrap it. All right, so I'm gonna take it off the grill, wrap it in some foil, and put it back on. And that butt being wrapped in the foil is going to accelerate our cooking time. It's gonna accelerate that pork butt getting nice and tender. So yeah, I will come back here in about three to four hours. We'll check the temp on that pork butt and we'll talk a little bit more about the stall and what's going on there and why wrapping it can be a good idea. All right, I'll see you in just a bit. All right, our pork butt has been smoking for a total of four hours. And I just did take a temperature, an internal temp of that pork butt right now is around 130 to 140. So we're not quite into the stall zone yet. All right, I wanna give it another hour and then I'll come back out and I'll check temps and see how it's doing then. So I'm not quite ready to wrap it in foil, but I do want you to come in and check this out. I'm gonna turn you on the QView camera and I want you to take a look at this pork butt and we can see how the bark is developing and how the color is really, really developing on this pork butt. It's looking real nice, y'all. Let's take a look. All right, I've got the QView camera on. Let's check out this pork butt. Ooh yeah. <laughs> Look at that beautiful color we've got going on. It's turning a nice, kind of dark mahogany red. Now I want you to notice right here on the edges, we've got our bark forming, okay? And we're still waiting for it to form right here in this center strip. So I wouldn't want to wrap this right now because that would ruin any uh, potential for some bark forming right there. So I want to give this another hour or so to let the bark develop in the middle there. And for us to hit those temps, again, I'm looking for attempts of between 150 and 160. That's kind of the telltale sign that your stall is coming up. All right, so back here, charcoal situation after four hours is, it's okay. Um, my grill temp has fallen a little bit, so I am going to add a little bit more charcoal right in here. I don't want to add a lot because otherwise it's going to start combusting and produce a lot of bad smoke. That's not going to be any good. Okay, so I did add a little bit of charcoal right back here, and that should do us for the next hour. So let's get the lid back on. And I am going to monitor my grill temp here, make sure that it's behaving itself. But yeah, we should be good to go for the next hour. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you real soon. All right, my friends, we are five hours into this cook. And I believe that we are coming onto the stall if it hasn't started already. Now, real quick, I want to tell you essentially what the stall is all about. It's uh, really just comes down to your meat is sweating. And when it sweats, it's cooling off. And the heat that's coming from the outside, you know, from the charcoal from your, from your coal, is not strong enough to combat that meat cooling down as it sweats. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off and wrap it in some foil, and wrapping it is gonna help push it through that stall. Like I said earlier, it's gonna help accelerate through that stall right into the finish line. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at the pork butt. We'll see how that bark has developed and we'll get a temperature to see if it's ready to wrap. Oh yeah, that's looking real nice. See how that bark developed in the middle there? That's what we wanted. We got great looking bark all around now, so this is safe to wrap. Let's take a temperature check. There you go, 153. 160. This is perfect. We're safe to wrap it, so I'm going to go ahead and get this off of here. Switched you over to Q view mode here while we wrap up this butt. So I'm ready to double wrap this. Pretty simple. Put the wrap up top here. Get that packed in nice on the sides. Okay, do one this way. All right, so you want to make sure that your folds are at the top so it's easier to check on this later on. We're going to check the tenderness in a little bit here. Go ahead and move this back on to the grill. All right, now I am gonna add some more charcoal in here. I'm gonna dump a lot in there because I really wanna bring up this grill temp now. I'd be happy going at like well over 300 degrees. Again, that's gonna really combine with this tin foil, gonna really help push us through the stall. And uh, maybe we can get this cooked within the hour, definitely within uh, two hours from now. All right, I've got this pork butt wrapped up and back on the grill. Now, before I closed it up, I added some more charcoal because I want to ignite, I want to stoke up that fire again. I want to get my grill temps going pretty hot. So that's going to help us push that pork butt through its stall to the finish line. Now, the next thing that we're looking for, the next step in this process is we're checking for tenderness. We want that pork butt to be fork tender when we pull it apart. We don't want any resistance, okay? Now the tenderness usually starts to happen when that pork butt hits an internal temp of 190 to 200 degrees. At least 190 is when I can start feeling for it, all right? I've got a trick that I use every time I do a pork butt. It hasn't let me down yet. I'll share that with you coming up, all right? So just hang tight and we're going to give this another hour, hour and a half. We'll come back out and we'll try out the tenderness test. See you soon. Well, my friends, the sun is setting. It's been a beautiful, long day of barbecuing. We put this uh, pork butt on the grill back at 11.30 this morning. We let it smoke for five hours until it hit an internal temp of about 150 degrees, right when the stall was gonna hit. Then I took it off, wrapped it in some foil, put it back on, added a lot more charcoal to really kick up the heat in the grill and it's been in that foil ever since. And I think it's been yeah, two and a half hours or so. So let's go ahead and check out this pork. I wanna check out the tenderness and see if it's ready to take off the grill. We got the QView camera rolling. Let's check out this pork butt. All right, this foil is gonna be hot. I'll do my best to carefully unwrap it. Ooh, would you look at that, y'all. That is looking good. Check out this bone right here. It's about to come right out of there. All right, I got my probe thermometer with me. Ooh. All right, we got 196, 198. That's 203. Let's get right here in the middle. 199. So this is perfect. We're right in the range that I was looking for that tenderness to start, which is around 190 to 200 degrees. But here is the trick that I was talking about earlier. More importantly than what the temperature is, is how it feels. Put that probe in there. How's it feel going in there? How much resistance is there? The less resist resistance, the better. So this probe feels like it's going in to soft butter. Yeah, it's especially tender back here. Towards the middle, there's just a slightly 
little bit more resistance there, but it's not bad. That's what you want to really practice is getting a feel for how the tenderness should feel. And if you get that down, you're going to have a perfectly tender pork butt every time you do this, okay? So let me go ahead and set this aside here, this thermometer, and I'm going to carefully get this pork butt off the grill. And we're going to let it rest for a little bit. Now, ideally, you should let it rest for, man, a pork butt this size, eight pounds, you should let it go for at least an hour. Uh, but I'm running out of daylight. I want to wrap up this video for you guys. So I'm just going to let this rest for maybe 10 minutes or so. 10, 20 minutes. Okay? So I'll see you back when it's time to shred this bad boy up. Well, I have let this rest for about as long as I can before this sun goes down. We're cutting it real close. Ideally, I'd let this rest for a lot longer. But it is what it is. It still looks great, it still smells great, and I think it's still gonna taste great, y'all. So let's go ahead and see how this pulls apart. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness. Perfect. Perfect, it just pulls apart so easily. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Bark looks great. This is going to taste great. Now this is the middle section right here that I felt like didn't have the same kind of tenderness as the surrounding areas. But uh, it's still coming, ac coming apart just fine. Just fine. Look at that. Look at that bark right there. A little smoke ring going on. Now, as you're pulling this, a couple options to think about. Now, you could pull the rest of this and serve it as is with a little barbecue sauce on the side. Nothing wrong with that. Um, what I like to do is I like to make a, uh, a cider vinegar sauce, an apple cider vinegar sauce. And what I like to do is I like to shred all this up. And then I like to pour in that apple cider vinegar sauce and mix this all together and then serve it that way. And, uh, you know, there's no right or wrong. You do whatever you like to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish pulling this butt. Oh, yeah. It's looking great. I'm just going to pull this all up. And then I'm going to come back here and just meet you for a little proper taste test. And uh, we're going to wrap this video up, y'all. See you in a minute. I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I tell you what, I'm real excited about this pork butt. Got it done just in the nick of time right here behind the camera. We got a beautiful Southwest Florida sunset happening. Hmm, it's wish you were here. Got some pork right here. Let's give it a taste test. Got some nice bark, a beautiful pink smoke ring going on. Hmm, oh yeah. I'll tell you what, you can't get, as far as tenderness goes, you can't get any more perfect than that melts in your mouth but still has a nice little bite to it. I am real happy with the way this turned out. I really hope that this video helps you out. Um, if you've never done a pork butt before or maybe you've done it a couple times and it just haven't, hasn't turned out the right way or the way that you hoped, I know how that feels. I've been there, was there many, many times. And if you have any questions at all, just feel free to leave a comment down below. So that's it, y'all. The sun has set and I'm happy, so happy with the way this pork butt came out. And I was happy that I was able to do it in time for this video for you guys sitting at home. I appreciate you. I love you. And until next time, smoke them if you got them. All right. Bye-bye.